Yo, what is going on guys? Orange Roger here back for a video. And today we will be updating the lag reduction video. By that I mean people have been complaining about them not being able to find certain things. I've tried pinning comments, people still don't look. I'm just gonna update it. A lot of the previous steps, mostly all of them will still be in here. But it's gonna be updated. There's gonna be, you know, stuff like the super fetch stuff that people can find. We're also gonna include Roblox in this. And of course, the performance for your computer in general and other games. For the first thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna open Roblox Studio. You could either find it through your directory here or it's on your desktop top somewhere go ahead and just click on roblox studio and it should launch roblox studio all right so once you're in here this is the page that's gonna pop up um i have all this because this is games that i've been working on uh so you're gonna want to go up here and you want to go you're gonna want to go down to studio settings once you're here you're gonna want to go down to rendering make your quality level level one and your edit quality level level one edit quality level this is also for Roblox Studio quality level. Just generally make that level one and everything should be good after that. So that's pretty much it. Since Roblox Studios went through a ton of updates, there is no option to change your quality anymore or anything. There's no option even uh, for your textures or anything. Game options, there's not even any texture options. Video quality, this is for when you record videos. That has nothing to do with it. Let's move on to the next thing to reduce lag. Don't forget when you click close, you have to save all your stuff. All right, next one is going to be the performance part of it. Type in performance performance and then this will pop up adjust the appearance and performance of windows click on that and this will pop up adjust for best performance that will make your text it'll make your text look weird now if you want to fix that go ahead and check smooth edges of screen fonts and click apply and it'll make your text back to normal now i recommend keeping it off just for the best performance your decision if you want it on go ahead and turn it on it's not going to make a world of difference all it does is it disables all animations on windows so like your start menu animation like when you open stuff all app animations like that it disables them so that way your computer could run to, to its best uh best ability so do that and this will help a lot with your performance all right next step go back down to your search bar then type in services this will pop up go ahead and click on services and once the services tab pops up go down to the s section at the s section there's two things i want to mention sysmain you're going to want to disable sysmain for some people it is still super fetch but i've been getting a lot of complaints that i can't find super fetch i pinned a comment even saying that it's not sysmain people just are too blind to see it i guess sysmain you're going to want to disable this it says it maintains system performance but in reality what it does is it creates a balance and it doesn't sometimes it doesn't even let your computer go to its maximum ability to perform which is why you disable it which will break that balance and allow your computer to go to the highest ability of performance go ahead and disable that so what you're going to want to do is you want to right click go to properties what you're want, what you're going to want to do the startup type you're going to want to set that to disabled then you're going to want to stop the service wait for that to finish and it finishes quite quickly then you're going to want to click apply that'll apply the settings and now sysmain is disabled this is one of the major keys to keeping your computer running really well let's move on to the next step so the next step is going to be your temp folder so temp folder stores a bunch of junk in your computer it's a bunch of it, it temp stands for temporary aka it's just files dumped from certain apps or like other folders that are not needed they're junk files they're just here pretty much ready to get rid of they take up a lot of storage in your computer i've had people ask will it delete my stuff will it delete everything no it will not delete anything there is some stuff people have said there's something called roblox in there that's a roblox junk file there's a bunch of skype junk files in here too there's a lot of stuff look at all this all this can be taken out but in order for this to be taken out you're gonna want to end some of your tax tasks like for example what i'm ending down here iq or whatever you have you're gonna want to close out discord all this stuff all this is stuff is gonna have to be closed out let me just select this and if another notification pops up i'll show you exactly what i mean by that just for an example all right so stuff like this administrator permissions go ahead and check do this for all current items if it already isn't then go continue that just wants your full administrative permissions i think i took out over like three or four gigs right there i didn't quite look at the end of temp now if you've never deleted your temp you're probably gonna take upwards of 50 maybe even hundreds of gigs out of here these junk files take up so much space in your computer you wouldn't believe the difference it makes for people especially the people with hard drives the people with hard drives stuff like the skype preview crashes if anything like that anything that has an app name in it close it see like there you go skype there you go do this for current items try again and after that xbox app services close the xbox app do this for current items and then try again all right xbox if if this pops up and xbox services is still up go ahead and open task manager control shift escape fastest way it's still open in the background go to click on xbox and task and the xbox game bar task too after these are ended go ahead 
and check that and then try it again adobe ipc broker if anything adobe related go ahead and add anything that is adobe related in your computer but anything adobe related like the ipc brokers there you go right there adobe ipc broker right there close that do this for all current items try again ipc broker still open if it's still open go ahead and run through it again and see what's going on all right we deleted it it's gone service side javascript this right here autodesk simulations autodesk desktop licensing software and this you guys probably don't have autodesk but if there's somewhere you just can't figure it out just go ahead and skip it because it's not a big deal we'll deal with that later i did that for all current because i want to get past it but keep doing it until you can close all your stuff and then wait for all this to be done and after that's done you're gonna want to empty your recycle bin all that has to go your entire recycle bin has to go because it's still in your computer even if it's in your recycle bin so let's see how much how many gigabytes have i cleared out and i clear my temp out quite frequently all right after all i got some stuff in my temp folder i'm gonna deal with that some other time i'm not in the mood to deal with that right now um anyway after that's done you're good with that you just cleared a lot of space out of your computer you got good space now next final step next step if you have an nvidia this is if you have an nvidia graphics card which most people doing lag reduction probably don't unless it's a low end if you have geforce experience even with the low end and if you even if it's a low end one and you want to play games on your home page you're gonna have available games here like this all of this you could click on like details it says optimize i wouldn't recommend clicking optimize custom you click the custom settings and if it's set anywhere over here bring it all the way up to quality and that'll force it to run to its maximum potential once it's all the way up there now don't forget you're gonna want to tamper with some settings if you want to whichever you feel comfortable if these are fortnite settings you could do it for a bunch of games even roblox itself don't forget make it all the way up put it to its full potential if you have an nvidia graph now guys final step this is optional don't have to do it but if you really want to fully clean your pc and get the best get cc cleaner you don't need pro the free one works just fine i will leave a link in the description of the cc cleaner website for you guys to go ahead and go there and download it it's ccleaner.com it's pretty simple and just run the scan clean all the stuff out of your computer and it'll be good now just a warning cc cleaner will clean a lot of the stuff through your browser too so it might make you log in all your accounts and stuff it happened to me but i'm pretty sure you can deselect that whichever one you want you can deselect all your browser stuff and just clean out what's inside your computer it's up to you whichever one you feels the best if you want your browser to run better too go ahead do it through cc cleaner this helps a lot i've even had people from the old lag reduction recommend cc cleaner in the comments and i thought i'd include it in this video big shout out to the people who did recommend it to me because i didn't include it last video because i felt like it was unnecessary but I thought I'd include this video just for the people to realize. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to sub to the channel if you like the channel. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you like the video. And yeah, guys, that's going to be the end. Peace out.